for this week's Test Show Tuesdays, Test Show Republican here at the Rich Logis Show, we have, for the second time, Miami Congressman Carlos Corbello. Hey guys, got a second time Test Show Republican for you this week at the Rich Logis Show, Miami Congressman Carlos Corbello. Now, come January, he's not going to be a congressman anymore. You guys may have heard his name mentioned last week when the president gave his day after Election Day press conference and he named the numerous Republican congressmen and women who didn't seek out the president's support or rejected his support. Now, look, when you run a campaign in an election, no one else is Trump. You are you. You run who you are. You run on your record. You run on your values. You run on your politics. So I'm not saying Corbello should have been Trump. But what I don't understand is, why would Carlos Corbello, a member of the Republican Party, not seek out the support of the president to at the very least try to help him win in what turned out to be a very, very competitive race? And I'll tell you why I think he did it. Because there are too many within our ranks, guys, on our side with Republicans, conservatives, and America First, who always think that they have the right to be right. Look, I think it's great to be an individual. But when you got the playbook, you run the plays. And unfortunately for Carlos Corbello, come January, he's not going to be a congressman anymore, having lost to a Democrat. So, Congressman, as a test here for the second time here at the Rich Logis Show, I say to you, it's not personal. It's strictly business. But in refusing to run the America First play, what you did is you took sides against the family. Who's the family? Your voters. Your district voters. Moms, dads, husbands, wives, sons, daughters, working families in Miami. People who went out and in large part elected President Trump where we won in the state of Florida because we were tired of wishy-washy, democrat white, sad loser Republicans. So, Congressman, I do wish you well after you leave your post in January. And if there's one thing that I can say, I hope, I truly hope, that we don't see you as an analyst at the DMIC Democrat Media Industrial Complex, which seems to be where all lukewarm or anti-Trump Republicans seem to wind up after their career in politics. So, Congressman, as a second-time test your Republican, I say to you, don't ever take sides against the family again, ever. And remember, guys, in The Godfather, Tetzio may have been smarter than Clemenza, but Clemenza was always more loyal and always ran the correct plays within the Corleone family. When it comes to politics, Congressman, and when it comes to preserving this great nation of ours and in upholding all of the oaths constitutionally you swore to uphold, remember this. Loyalty always trumps smarts. And as a conclusion for you guys, as a little bit of a wink-wink, I think we'll have a little something special for the other Republicans who didn't run the America First playbook who lost last week in Election Day. Until next time, guys, as always, you can check out more of our Tessio Tuesdays, Tessio Republicans videos at my site, theritzlogishow.com. As always, thank you guys for watching.